Having been fascinated by the fact that Microsoft Office for Mac 2011 just doesn't update without quirks, I've written this article on my website wpguru.co.uk and I've received great feedback here. And it appears that perhaps, perhaps not, <laughs> Microsoft have found a fix for this uh, thing that we have to execute a line of code to kill two system services continuously. And I've had success with this for the last two updates, 14.5.0 and 14.5.1. And I thought I'd make the screencast to see what happens on another system of mine, which is currently running Office for Mac 14.4.8 and 14.5.1 is the latest version. I have to remote into the system so that I can screencast it, but hey, uh, this is the current version and the friendly update thingamajig has just come up and offers me to apply this update. Let's see what happens. First we'll download it and then the installation is supposed to start. Usually never works, so we'll just go ahead and try it as good as we can. So on my Yosemite system, this is exactly as far as I got. The update is complaining about the Microsoft database daemon and Word and Sync System Services agent. So all I did on my, on my Yosemite system was I tapped on Word here and closed Word down. And I ignored this message otherwise and just said close applications and install. And this worked on my Yosemite system. And it looks like it's working now on, on the Maverick system here as well. So it appears that perhaps, I mean, could it be true? Could it be that Microsoft have actually found a way to kill those services themselves after the product being on the market for about six years coming to the end of its life? Hey, who knows? Is there hope yet for Microsoft Office for Mac? Running the package scripts usually takes forever. If it says less than a minute, it's you know probably another 10 minutes or so. So time to grab coffee and uh, let this thing, whatever, recompile my operating system. The installation was successful. I thought it was never gonna happen. So let's see if it really was. Close the updater. Try to open Word, about Word. Looks like we've successfully applied 14.5.1, the latest update, and it appears that there was no need to kill those sync services things manually. Hey, there is hope after all for Microsoft Word for Mac. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.